Hello. Hiya, my name's Lauren. Very nice to meet you. I want to tell you a little story about falling in love. Is that all right? I mean, it's going to have to be because it's what I've planned. I fell in love this year and it's a really, really very nice feeling. I wanted to start the year with one goal. That's all I wanted. I thought I'm going to go on a date. That's all I want to do this year, go on one proper date. So I downloaded the dating apps for the first time in a long time and my friends were like, what are you looking for? I was like, someone with nice eyes. That's what I want, someone whose eyes make me heart melt, make me heart skip a beat. And after two weeks, I was like, someone whose eyes point the same way. That is, <laughs> that's all I'm asking for. All I want to find. And I was worried because I'd not dated since my early 20s and I'm close out to 30 now. I don't think I'm old, but I wondered if my priorities had changed. I was like, am I looking for different things? Am I still fun and exciting? So I went on a date with this lovely lad and the first thing he asked us was, what's the best thing that's happened to you this year? I went, oh my God, easy, right? I've bought these new bin bags. They're incredible. <laughs> I went, honestly, they don't rip. When I pull them out the bin, they don't tear. I get to that bin room without a drop of bin juice on me. You know what? I think these bin bags have changed me life. And as I finished talking, I was like, oh, you're boring. <laughs> when did this happen? 22-year-old Lauren would never spoke about bin bags on a date. And I stood up to leave. I was so embarrassed. I thought, I've done my goal for the year. I've been on a date. I can leave now. And as I'm walking away, he pulled us back to the table and went, oh, Lauren, don't go. You can't leave till I've told you about my favourite pan. <laughs> and I was like, tell me everything. <laughs> Because if I don't get a second date, I'm getting an Amazon link to that pan, and that's arguably... I knew he was the one for me, I really did, because I was a bit nervous about going on the date. And the night before, he texted us to see how excited he was, how he could feel a spark. And I did put my foot in it. I said, oh, I don't think I'll feel a spark until I see you in person. And then I really worried I'd huffed him. It went quiet for a bit. And after a few hours, I got another text. It said, Lauren, if you don't want to come on the date, it's absolutely fine if you don't feel a spark. But how have you spent your evening? I have bought some new pants. And then he sent us a little winky face and an aubergine. I was like, oh, I know what he's doing. He wants me to feel a spark. So he's sort of like suggesting to send a picture in his pants if I consent, which I do. Go on, show me. He said, I thought you'd never ask. And in that moment, you know, I realised there was a spark. I was dead excited to see what he looked like in a state of undress. When my phone flashed, I ripped it off the bed and he had sent us a picture. And the picture was just eight pairs of pants. <laughs> folded very nicely on his bed. <laughs> I was mortified. I said, I thought you were trying to turn me on. He said, what do you mean? I said, I thought you were going to send a picture of you in the pants. And I got one text back that made me agree to go on that date and arguably made me fall in love. It just said, Lauren, are you not more turned on at how nicely I have folded them? I was like, I am. I absolutely am. You have been wonderful. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm Lauren.